Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick management task for VMware ESXi uh, expanding a virtual disk on a Windows server. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by shutting down the virtual machine. In this case, it's this Veeam Hachi. So I'm going to go ahead and go down, right click on the virtual machine in your list. I'm going to go ahead and click edit settings. Now, when you select hard disk here, you should be able to access this box here where you can actually change the size of the hard drive. Uh, the only thing that would ever really prevent you from doing so is if the virtual machine is still powered on or if you have a running snapshot on this particular VM. Uh, if you do have a running snapshot, you can go in and delete that snapshot by right clicking the virtual machine, going to snapshot manager and removing the snapshot. So in this case, uh, I'm about to do a Windows upgrade um, from server 2008 R2 to 2012. And what I need is some more hard drive space. Might be a, numerous reasons why you need to increase the space, but it's basically a two step process. First step, we're gonna increase it in the actual virtual machine, virtual disk. In this case, I'm gonna give it, let's say 150 gig. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do okay. And if you look down in the bar down here, uh, it's going to show you progress of it changing the size of the virtual disk. Looks like we're good to go. And then the last step to this is we're going to go ahead and power on the virtual machine. And we'll give that just a moment. And then I'm going to remote to that virtual machine and show you the process of expanding the disk in Windows itself. Okay, so now we have our virtual machine fired back up. Let's go ahead and go to the computer uh, and we can notice that the drive is still at 59.8 gigabytes. It's not going to automatically expand on its own. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to administrative tools. You can do that by hitting the start menu and typing admin. You'll see it right here, administrative tools. Okay, from administrative tools, we're going to go into computer management. And then in computer management, uh, we're going to go to disk management. So from this area, once it loads, we can see that we have disk zero in our case, which we know that we have created 150 gigabyte of virtual drive in the VMware um, settings. So we, we know that this is the drive. If you have a case where you have multiple uh, virtual disks or in a real server, uh, physical server case, you have multiple real hard disks, then you'll just have to determine what one's what. Um, it's a pretty dead giveaway here, though, because you can notice that we have an extra 90 gigabytes, which is uh, definitely what we added in. So all we have to do is notice you have the system reserved here. You don't want to mess with that. Uh, what we need to do is on the main C drive, we're going to right click that and we're going to click extend volume. Now, it's going to automatically choose what it sees as a spare, you know, hard disk left at the end of the, the drive there. Um, you can change that if you wanted to, I suppose, uh, and not use the whole 90 gigs. But in our case, we want to expand the drive, the entire ability that uh, we added in ESX. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Really simple process. It's going to do everything for you. The black bar here will go away. It should turn all blue. There we go. It reports that it's 149.90 gigabytes. Um, so let's go back here and we're going to have to click refresh and there we go. So now we have a 150 gigabyte hard disk and it was as easy as adding the space into VMware ESX and then going into Windows and doing the expand. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Check back. I'm going to have a lot more videos just on basic sysadmin stuff and networking and more to come. Thanks.